first of all, are organizations that have broken down the barriers between, I would say, resilience-related silos, right? We've traditionally talked about IT disaster recovery and business continuity and crisis management. And I would also add emergency, emergency management, things like shelter in place and evacuation and uh, travel safety. And it's really all four or five of those elements that you have to think about. And you can't simply ignore one of them. So that's where I think all resilient professionals need to start to think about duty of care as it relates to resilience.